Hello viewers, welcome back to the JSN RS solution channel. Hope you are doing great. Today I will show you how to prepare sampling location map using ArcGIS. This kind of map is very essential to our research focusing sampling points in our study area. I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you. If you need the data that are used in this tutorial, just write me in the comment section mentioning your email. I will send you then. Anyway, uh, let's start. I'm opening Google Earth. Here is my uh, location. I'm checking borders levels. Here is my sample location. I will add this camel file in ArcGIS. So for that, go to conversion tools. I will convert this camel uh, file to shape. So for this, uh, go to camel uh, to layer, and then input camel file as input file. So I'm adding sampling point as input file. Then uh, output location. I'm selecting the output location. And then click OK. So you can see here my sampling points. Then go to data and export data. Output featured class. So rename it. I'm going to rename it as sampling point. Save as type shape file and then click save. Then click OK. Do you want to add the expected data as a map layer? So I don't need this file, so I'm just deleting it. And you can see here, here is my sampling point changing the icon you can increase the size of this symbol you can select any symbol from here so here a uh, name as sampling point so check the level feature layout view then here change layout I'm going to keep it as landscape then I will add uh, base map you can add uh, several map as imagery topographic so i am adding uh, topography increase the symbol size text symbol bold then okay Then go to properties and then you can increase uh, the symbol size i mean uh, sorry text size also symbol size now it uh, looks good then uh, go to insert and data frame i will add here three data frame because in the first uh, data frame, I will show uh, the world map of where is our study area and then our country map indicating study area sample and the last one, the uh, sampling location in details. So in the first map, I will add the world map. So here is my uh, data folder. 
I have added the wall map. Then I will add our country shape file to show where is our uh, study uh, area or our country in the wall map. Change the color because uh, it is not visible. Okay. Now we can see uh, where is our uh, country. Now I will add here topographic as base map. Check the draw. Highlight uh, the study area or the country outline color is red then ok so here is our uh, country in the wall map then I will add the title of this map Bangladesh in the wall map In this map, uh, I will show our uh, country and uh, comprising the sampling point. So here is the district map. I will add the sampling point here. Then just paste in this letter frame. Oh, no, not here. Uncheck the level and uh, decrease the symbol size. Uncheck the level features and make it as a uh, fill color. No outline color, you can uh, select any color that you uh, prefer. Now, I will add here the base map. I have added the topographic map here and then going to uh, write the title study area in the district map you can change the uh, symbol properties from here symbol size and the style in the last map uh, i will add uh, the study area comprising our uh, sampling location i mean this is the sub district map indicating our study area I'll just copy sampling location uh, shape file and then paste in this frame data frame so you can see here the sampling location and I'm adding the base map at oceans now title sampling point in sub district map you can change the size style and in here you can uh, add several types of uh, base map I mean a single base map you can add this base map 
imagery also uh, you can add uh, reverse shape file if you don't have the reverse shape file uh, for your study area you can check out my uh, video you'll find it so i will add here the sub district shape file just paste in this data frame just check the uh, label features also you can add base map like oceans I will add uh, district boundary in this uh, detail map. Now, legend, I will add the essential legend here. I only keep the district boundary, uh, sub district boundary, and sampling point and river. You can change the background of the legend. If you change here, this is automatically changed in the legend box. scale bar uh, north arrow add north arrow then scale bar i'm adding this one then go to properties and division units uh, kilometers or miles and level position below center then ok you can increase uh, the size of this uh, uh, level then add grids new grid then appearance levels only next next then go to properties
size i am going to give it as 10 and left and right orientation the intervals Now it looks pretty good. Add a base map that fit perfectly with the sampling points. It is not mandatory to add base map in the sampling location map. You can only show the survey or sample point in the map. However, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, thank you for being with the JS and RS Solution channel.